Hello and welcome to episode 32 of the Perfect Hour 2. This is my best run ever. Desert Insane 40 million infinities. 41 hours, 250 trillion wave acceleration factor. And I'll switch to scientific notation to show you how much money I made, which is my record as well. I showed you my record a few times and I decided to do it again, 2.7 E63. My goal, as I said in the past, to reach eight figures, maybe not 40 million, 10 million is enough, but uh, I didn't have time to play active, so I let it run forever. All these points that I got would be spent on trading and power for the power plant. Before we get started with asteroid mining, I'm gonna buy something in the infinity perks, something I've been wanting for a while. I shut down all the stones and I bought for the mine permanently reduced layer refresh duration to one third. There you go. I'll activate the two usual buttons, trading post and museum, and we'll get started. And it's almost real time. So I'm gonna show you asteroid mining, uh, the way I understand things, um, what I discovered about it, almost real time, a few cuts, a few speed ups, but it, uh, it's only a few minutes in between each cut. By the way, what you just saw is another one that I started to get eight figures. I'll make a video one of these days about that. Here I'm showing that I got 38 layers in the mine, which means my workers are mining absolutely non-stop and I'm approaching 1 billion meters in depth. So let's take a look. First of all, there's uh, these two things I can upgrade. Now I spent everything on my modules. So I didn't have that much money left. It doesn't matter. My goal was to get every single treasure and I will. And I found out how amazing asteroid mining is. It's pretty fun. And I'll come back to it later when I get more money. I'll upgrade these some more. So I'll do what I can with what I have. But I realized that uh, I did have blue resources left. So I'm about to go into trading and exchange them for orange resources so I can make more upgrades. And I was lucky, I hit the magic button and right away there's going to be blue to orange. Look how lucky I am. So we're going to go 100% trade 7.55 QA by the way uh, crates. So I'll be able to upgrade these. I decided to go double digit OCDs, but a bit later I'll upgrade them some more. I don't have an auto taker, so it's gonna take a few seconds. Like I said, it's almost real time what I'm gonna show you. There's a few cuts where I wait two minutes for something or three minutes for something, or maybe uh, two speed ups also where I didn't know what to say for the voiceover. It's my third try here. 32 million percent and five minutes per scans, which is the button below here. If I go quick scan, it takes 10% of the time, but I don't have any detailed information about the cluster because my goal was to get treasures. I wanted information about the cluster so I could delete them if there was nothing interesting in them. Here I'm showing the boost that I have for the mine. 1344%, so that five minutes is divided by 13, so it's nothing when it comes to uh, scanning for clusters. This is my first cluster. To my delight, I saw there was two modules in it. Previous episode, the two-part thing, I was asking, hey, I'm missing six modules. Where are they? Well, there's four in asteroid mining, and there's two only on that cluster. So let's check it out. Now the hints uh, are not rocket science. Uh, it's not a big puzzle to be frank, but uh, the goal was just to, uh, is there something that I'm interested in? So this is what we're gonna get everything here, all the treasures. Is there something I'm interested in? If not, I'll just delete it. That's the only goal, but to figure it out, look, there's two modules. Top right doesn't have one and okay. And then, uh, the top left has one, which means the bottom one must have one. 
So the, these are not uh, big puzzles. Uh, so uh, it didn't matter because I wanted to mine everything. To see if there was an effect on mining an entire cluster and there isn't. Also I knew workers could be involved in asteroid mining. So I will be able to automate all this later on. Um, but not for all clusters. The maximum number of clusters that I can get is 14. There seems to be space up to 20. I'll show you what I mean later when we look at workers. But first I did everything by hand. Um, the more I mine in the same cluster, the slower it is. I found that three at a time is the best for me at least. Uh, and I think you're gonna see me later on mine like seven at once or something. It's pretty slow. So we're looking for another cluster here. It's pretty fast due to the boost. And here I'm just waiting in reality. Uh, okay, this, I don't understand it, but I don't know when to ask you. I tried in my previous voiceovers. Worst case scenario, you know what? I'll ask you in the conclusion, in the comment. Please explain to me what this thing is. And I'll tell you why I don't understand it, okay? It looks silly, but seriously, I don't get it. The rest, I understand everything. It's not very complicated, but this is where I... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 at once. So we upgrade the scan duration. I believe I will also upgrade asteroid drill in a moment if my memory serves me well. Yes, there you go. Uh, this is as far as I'm gonna get. As I said, I'm gonna come back. Right now I'm doing a run, by the way. So here I'm, see that? That's a treasure, 0 0.135. I'm gonna look at what that treasure is. I'm gonna read about it. Here I was trying, I could have cut that part out, I, I guess, but once again, it's almost real time, uh, this video. I was trying to get more orange cues, but uh, there's not enough. Uh, not enough of any resources other than the blue ones originally, so I won't be able to make. Because I wanted to push asteroid drill further, but whatever. Okay, so here I think I'm gonna wait if I remember correctly. Let's see if I'm gonna be right twice in a row in terms of memory. Of course, after three tries of voiceover, I'm starting to remember the footage. There we go. And we get our first muzzle. Magical orbs. So is that any good? Let's check it out. Spawns magical orbs that circle around the tower and stun nearby enemies on contact for three seconds. It's alright, I guess, but I'm not gonna use it. In fact, I won't use any of the four I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna continue to mine here. And here I know there is a um, module in that one too. Top left, right? So I'll mine this. Still getting those that I don't understand. It looks like it gives you resources, right? But the numbers don't match. That's why I don't understand it. And there's like a delay. Uh, so, you know where you make the buildings, the brown ones? I tested it on the brown ones because I don't have any... Um, I don't have any um, producers for brown, okay? And uh, I would only click on browns, I would get nothing, then come back, then I have way more than what it says I would get. It says I get quincillions and I got a nose, right? So I don't understand this, so if you don't mind explaining to me uh, what this does and if it's worth clicking on them. Because at one point I'm gonna stop clicking on them. By the way, I just deleted one that has uh, no uh, treasure in it, okay? Mining rewards increase all resource-based mining rewards on resource shards and gems so while I mine I get more rewards so that's the thing I clicked on when I zoomed in early on 13% of course I'm getting way more than this and there's two other things one for town resources in uh, uh, while you do a uh, tower testing and damage which is really great 
So this is a speed up where I didn't know what to say in the previous attempts. Um, I just clicked on a factory item that's completely useless, but eventually I'll just leave them out. It will make a cut. And I, I found these two here, but I'm not gonna click this one up also. I'm not gonna click on them right away. You see the sword and the white cube, but for some reason I'm gonna click on it right away. So now it's at 22% and everything's gonna go way up over time. And it's great because it's gonna be another source of income so I can get even richer. Another speed up here. And then here's a new muzzle again. That's another mining thing. Checkerboard Aura. So what is Checkerboard Aura? Is that any good? Reduce the base resistance of nearby enemies against neutral and universal damage. And then I make more damage of the same type, something like that. But uh, I wish it was resistance against neutral and universal. Now I would have been interested, so I don't think I don't think that's something I'm interested in either because my build works, so why change it? Unless I find something absolutely incredible. Now we'll pick up these two things soon. So this one has nothing interesting, so I don't know why I click on it, but anyways, here's the two things I was talking about, so I'm going to get more resources and more DPS, which is great. I'll continue to mine some asteroids, click on these things that I don't understand. Treasures, 12% more resource drops, but it's going to get, I think I'm going to reach more than 100% eventually, and then damage bonus. I intend to spend some time here to get boost and these are three artifacts I can get and I will get them. Oh, here's a new muzzle and that's an ultimate muzzle. Maybe this one's good. Radar, we already told you that I'm not gonna use any of them, but let's see what Radar does anyways. Doubles the tower attack range for a certain amount of time. And uh, I knew for some reason I felt like level five would be the maximum. So I went to level five to see how many seconds it would be. Well, I'll never use that either. At least for now. Maybe at MT15, the game will change so much. See these two, I'm not going to pick them up. I don't need that. Okay. I could pick that one. Uh, anything that's tier 9 and up, I should pick it up. I didn't pick it up, but it's fine. It's my first try in asteroid mining, so no big deal. Oh, this one has an, an artifact. Nice. Oh, okay, I already found it. Hyper Trading Table. And it even gives producers. This one is a tier 4 producer. Very nice, very nice. I don't know if you can get tier 5 producers. That would be crazy. I hope so. That's another green thing, but we just missed it. But I should have picked that up too. Anything that's tier 9 and up. Okay. So I had to go to the museum and research this and 45 minutes, not interested. Let's go in the power plant and boost the museum. Now I cannot move the slider here because I would have to reset the power, but 1000% is fine. Instead of 45 minutes, it's four minutes and a half. And there's another module here. Awareness. Let's see what it does. Is that the last one? I think. Temporarily increase experience point gain from destroyed enemies. Active muzzle, yeah, no. Don't need that. Okay. I collect those. Eventually I'll stop doing it, by the way. Walkers, it's time to set them. I already set something up. Scan for asteroid and dispose completed clusters. So I'm already auto scanning. I did it off camera. You see what I mean? I said 14, there's like six gray spots. I don't know how to go to 20. Can you? Maybe you can't yet. 
Maybe they'll add it later or maybe I'm missing an artifact. So there's two things. Treasure Hunter is bad, I think. It claims rewards, but it would claim all the trash from in the factory and fill up all my uh, inventory in my factory. So what I want to do, my strategy will be to assign workers to mine um, as many positions as possible and I'll pick up stuff myself. For now at least, because I, I don't want the garbage uh, from the factory. And I was happy about that too, because I, I had so many empty spaces. Uh, I was wondering how to fill them, but well, now I don't have enough because there's 14 uh, spaces and I'm at 28 out of 30, so I'll reach 11, but you know what, I'm happy with that. And I always go very fast, I, I, there's no incidents here, but for some reason uh, that's my... I'm not officially OCD, but when I play games sometimes I do OCD things. Okay. Back to the mine. And what else? What else? Oh, here's an artifact on the left and a producer. I'm gonna click on these things I don't understand once again. And uh, producer tier 4, black producer. The highest I got is tier 4, as I said, but that's only one session. You're seeing the whole session, in fact. Because I started a run right after that, which is running right now as I'm speaking to you. Another uh, artifact, another sword, nice. And now I saw that I had a bunch of these things I don't understand, so I decided not. Because off camera, that's something I tested, like I said, with the brown ones. I, it just makes no sense. I click on it, it gives me nothing, I come back, then I get um, a number that doesn't match what it says it gives me. Is it because of the boost of 42 million percent? Looking forward to see the comments, see what you think. All right, so I'm gonna research that and that. But with the time boost, it's not too bad. Adds 10% to the trade resource conversion rate of the trading post increase. Create factor by 5% multiplicative. So I accidentally cut that part, but instead of 30%, I'm gonna say 40% in the trading post. Increases factory inventory size by 24 slots. This is great. That's gonna help me a lot. And this one has to do with fabricator, and I don't understand the fabricator yet. It's next episode, so uh, I don't know how strong that is. I'll assume it's pretty good. So next episode we'll look at that. So that's the crafter. That's a fabricator, and below that is the rubber tree. But that's all I know. And look at the space. Oh, I didn't scroll all the way down. It's pretty nice though. And I got everything, all the treasures. But I got a surprise. Uh, here, by the way, a few more of these blocks. Why not? I want to make money. There you go. And check this out. Look at that. Exotic producer, man. That's why I say it's amazing. You can get exotic producers from this. It's crazy, that's my, only my third one. Again, out of RGD. You thought I had 10, no, now I have three, but I promise you I'll have a lot. After I'm done with the factory, I'm gonna start making a lot of EGEM producers. Well, maybe I'll go through the Infinity Forge first. But anyways, this is amazing. The ability to get exotic producers from asteroid mining just blew my mind. That means I can also get blue gem producers, but I don't know about tier 5 producers, maybe. So here I'm just excitingly showing you how much I'm at. Oh, 0 0.24, but it's all boosted up. And I'm getting uh, several per second now, uh, especially in a run. But these are low numbers. I'm going to get so many exotic producers. It's unthinkable. I know some people got crazy amounts, and I intend to have those crazy amounts as well. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the asteroid mining. I think that's all I had for you. There's another thing I want to cover though, but these are the ones I don't get again. You click on it, you get nothing, you come back, then you get more than what it says. I, I just don't get it. Oh, I should have added a clip showing you what I mean. You know what I'm going to do? 
At the end of the video, after the conclusion, without talking, I'm gonna even stop my current one. I don't even care. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, I'll show you what I mean, why I'm confused. Because it's pretty abstract to explain, okay? So after the conclusion, just stay and I'll show you what it does, what I mean. Here, 43, right? So 43, 44 is pretty much the maximum I'm able to get reasonably in the museum. Uh, here's my Black Infinity Stone, 11 million in Chaos and 15 million in Region 11. I push this stone a lot. Look at those 30,000 each, right? Because uh, it's used almost everywhere. See? It's almost everywhere. So that's my main stone that I concentrated the most on. And I'll be using it to upgrade all my power stones by one. And this is how I'm going to reach 50, which I believe is the maximum. No way I'm going to do that by hand. Here I'm just showing, even if I get 40, like the yellow one on the right, the highest I ever crafted was 45, it took a while, so imagine 50. So I'm going to use that up to 50, so it's pretty nice as well. Yeah. I want to unlock more uh, slots, I'll have to fight bosses for that. And replace some of those fire ones with nature. Let's get some rubber. Because I still don't have those rubber trees. Apparently they're pretty powerful, but I don't have them yet. So, and I, you know, I want to see exactly what it does. This is the Infinity Forge. If we're lucky, two episodes from now, we'll talk about the Infinity Forge. So let's go to my most lucrative place, Desert Insane, 12 OCD per second. And that will be it. Uh, this was almost real time. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Well, you know what? I figured it out, so I decided to comment after all. Let's go uh, with blue, okay? And uh, I see 4.82 SX conversion rate, okay? 4.82. So if I go here and I click on blue, blue i'm gonna have to get rid of those That's because i uh was recording for the video so i click on a few right look 6.76 sx right that's what it does it increases the conversion rate uh if i go from this to blocks that's all it does so never mind, I don't have a question. See you around.